how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. How was your day? Oh, it was some um, some boring. Boring. Uh, Why? What happened? Boring. Yeah, but but it was good. I'm in home. Thank God. <laughs> I I been a bit um, scared about the route of bus that I tell that I take every day because uh, I work in Soyapango and the twenty nine that is the the route that I take it's getting a little bit dangerous there. Yeah, I saw a, a tweet where a girl said that he was about being um, sequestrada. I don't know how to say kidnapped. It. Kidnapped. Kidnapped. Yeah, and um, I am a little bit afraid, but there it, it's the a danger that we. Even if we are in home, we can we are in danger. Yeah, yeah, it's a little dangerous because I mean you you are going to work, right? The idea is not to to do something bad or anything, but imagine not for me that, that's scary because then your family never knows what happens to you. They don't know you. You suffer other things, mm -hmm. so. You have to be careful, Gabby. Yes, uh, I used to sleep all, all the um, all the way work at home or home, but since I saw that tweet and that story, I was with my with my bag watching everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better to be uh, every every people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because women or men can be dangerous. You know. Yes. Yes, it's true. It's true. You have to be careful. Okay. Rafa, how about you? How was your day? Okay, maybe Rafael, Rafael is having a little bit of difficulty connecting. Yeah, okay. Francisco, how about you? How was your day? Hi, good evening. Okay, my day is no different than all the other days because in, I work and I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in this, uh, how do you say, hace un momento? A little while ago. A little while ago, uh, uh, I finished the uh, uh, father's, uh, my uh, father's, um, my, uh, the father of, of my students, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, they ask for everything. And interesting the, this moment. I'm a little confused, Francisco. The, what, did you have you had a meeting with a father or, or or what? Yes, the meeting of the father with the fathers. Ah, uh, for the school. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Because I, I'm a teacher. Yes. I think you are referring to the parents' meeting. Parents' meeting. This is the yes. correct word. Because remember, father is only the men. That's right. Yes. Uh, parents' uh, meeting. Parents' meeting. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 I understand. Okay. Thank you. No problem. And everything was okay in the meeting? Hi, everyone. 
Hello, hello. Okay. Rosa, how about you? How was your day? Hi, good evening, everybody. Uh, my day is, is, is really nice. And uh, because I went to Las Tunas with my sisters and my um, uh, and her husband too. Oh, and okay. I, I, I pass a good time with them. And um, I uh, draw do, during uh, very hours because it's a, it's a long, long away or long, sorry, uh, muy lejos. It's very far. It's very far, yes. Far. But, but it's good time. I'm very tired, but it's okay. It's nice. Okay. okay. Thank you. And Rosa, where are Las Tunas? Eh, la Unión. Oh, wow. In La Unión, yes. In La Unión. It's really nice. It's, it's, it, the, the beach is, is very big mm -hmm. and clean. And the weather is uh, not too hot. And and the 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 paisaje the view is really nice it's, okay. yes and the people is very kind um the people are the, the people are very kind and the food is delicious okay wow it sounds like it, it's a lot of things that you yes <laughs> you did today yeah it's a lot of things okay. because my my sister they they tra they travel to Fridays and we have a a few days only. Okay, okay. Well, that's. Good. I see we have a lot more people here in the class today. That's good. Everybody is connecting. That's excellent. Well, that means we can go ahead and get started. Well, Try to do a couple of the things. <clears throat> Yesterday, we began looking at phrasal verbs or two-part verbs. Do you remember this idea for phrasal verbs? Yeah. Yes. Yes. The, yes. Um, there are yes. verbs that are um, formed by a verb plus a participle. Okay. A par Very good. So many times we have phrasal verbs that have a specific meaning when we join them with, a, with another one. For example, we have the word turn. And turn is very particular because it has a lot of different meanings. You can have, for example, turn up, turn down. Okay. You can have yes. turn off, turn on. And we continue many more. But the idea is that the first verb has to stay the same, but the second one is the one that changes the meaning, right? So all of those are the ones that we're going to look at. Two part verbs and how we use them and what they mean. Okay, so remember the first part of the verb is the one that you can change in past, present or future. The second part you cannot change because that is the one that gives it the meaning, the specific meaning. Okay. Here, let's watch a small video and get an idea of what we're talking about and how we can use them. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. 
All right, let's practice these that are here. Okay. So everybody listen. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Good, Rosa. Pick up our things. Pick up our things. Cut it out. Cut it out. Mm -hmm. Drop me off. Drop me off. Turn the radio up. Turn the radio up. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Rafa, you have a question? Yes, teacher. I want to ask us to your permission to through the class properly. I my dog. Hey, grab a hole for 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 my dog. Okay. And that's the reason because uh, I will say connect to the class, but can I only you know, listen to class and don't participate today? Okay, Rafa, no problem. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Rafa. Thank you very much. Sure thing, sure. So we have a couple of the things that we have here. Uh, uh, these two part verbs, these phrasal verbs. Do you know what they mean? Do you know what is pick up, cut out, drop off, uh, turn up and put down? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we have all of these different ones here. And what we're seeing here is that we can put them in different ways. We can put them at the end, the nouns at the end, the nouns in the middle, or the pronouns in the middle. Remember, yesterday we learned that the pronouns cannot be at the end. The pronouns can only be in the middle. That is the important for this part, okay? That the pronouns can only be in the middle, but the nouns can be in the middle or at the end. I have a question, Mr. Yes. I understand the structure, the phrasal verbs, okay. and uh, the importance of a uh, put between two parts, the noun or pronoun, but I don't understand the difference, the, um, the use in, in every time or uh, this way or other way. Okay, so let me make sure I understand. For example, here, you can say I pick up the boys or I pick them up. This is the same meaning but you cannot say I pick up them. You can only put them in the middle of the phrasal verb, not after. In, the, in, in this case, pick up the toys, uh, I say that a specific objects. Correct. Okay, and um, pick them up is not the specific. Okay, correct. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here, okay, so what we're talking about with them is we're talking about the toys. We're talking about it, we are talking about the light. But the pronoun, even if you are talking specific, the pronoun is obligation to be in the middle. And uh, 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 there, there are concordance, in the plural and the female or male noun. Correct. All the pronouns, all the pronouns are in the middle. The nouns can be at the end, pick up Andrea or pick, uh, pick Andrea up or pick her up. But all of them can be in any position that is the noun. But if you use the pronoun is only in one position and that is in the middle. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions about the two part verbs?
No, the other ones are okay. Okay, I think everybody's pretty good. So what do we wanna do? We wanna use them and make sure that we understand, okay? So before we go on to the next one, let's take a look at a few that we learned from yesterday as well. Verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun. Okay. And that's the explanation from yesterday about the objects. Let's see. Okay. So we're going to go with our partners. If you don't have your access to the platform, it's okay because I also put the, them in the WhatsApp group. We're going to use these words. The words pick up, turn off, put off, put on, and put back. And with our partners, we want to create sentences and make sure that we can use all of those two-part verbs or those phrasal verbs in sentences. Okay. So where am I going get, where do I get the information? This is from 1.6 and 1.3. 1.6 and 1.3 in the platform. 1.6 and 1.3. But as I say, it's also in the WhatsApp group, right? So with our partners, we want to make sentences. We want to use those different words that we learned and write and create our own sentences. Sorry, excuse me, how many sentences? One sentence for each word. Okay, thank you. Yes, and let me think. Um, I forgot. Uh, Rafa, you're the one who's, or who was the one who said that they couldn't participate today? That was Rafa, right? Yes, I think. I think it was, I think it was Rafa, right? Yes, or Rafa, yes. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure that way when we have our partners, we know. Okay. So, like I said, with our partners, we want to make one sentence with each one. Evelyn, do you have problems connecting? Evelyn, your microphone is on mute. Hi, teacher. Goodbye. Hey, hello, Evelyn. Uh, the internet is unstable because it's uh, raining now. Okay. Okay. So then it's difficult for you to connect to the group. Yes. Okay, okay, no problem. We will try to see, okay. Okay, so if you want, Evelyn, what we can do is uh, maybe turn off your mic, uh, turn off your camera and try to connect in the group because sometimes with the camera, less internet, and then you, it's possible to connect, okay? Okay. Okay. I'm going to send you to a group and see if we can connect. Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation.
request with modals and would you mind. Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could, and we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now, let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember, you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on our discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. All right, I'm glad everybody's back. And let's see how your sentences are in your examples. Henry, can you please give me the example with pick up? I was mute. Uh, <laughs> pick up the toys or pick it up. Yes, but this is the example from the platform. Give me your example, use it in a sentence. Uh, with pick up? Yes. Uh, call you pick up, uh, the, call you pick up the, the book. Okay, very good. That's making a, that's using it as a question. Good, could you pick up the book? Very good. Francisco, okay. use turn off. Sorry, Maria and me makes the sentence use uh, put off, put on, and put back. Uh -huh. So go ahead, use put off. Okay, put off. Mary put off her wedding to the next month. Okay. Good. That's good. All right. Maria, use the word put on. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, put on. Okay. I, I put on my best dress for the party. Okay, good, very good. Brenda, use the word turn off. Uh, 
turn down. Turn, turn down. Turn on. Yes, turn off. Turn, turn on the hay conditioner. Repeat the sentence. Turn on the air conditioner. Good, but not on, Brenda. Off. Uh, off. off. Uh, okay, turn off the air conditioner. <laughs> Hi, Brenda, the same one, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Ivania, just put back. Ivania? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know. Let me see. Put back there. Put back. Mm -hmm. um, put back the boat and the table. Okay, so put back the books on the table. That's good. That means it's return. Put them in the same place. Exactly. Okay, good. Those are the five that we had for the phrase of verbs. Are there any questions about those? I have a question. Uh, I was watching the platform and in there said put plus back means to cover your body with clothes. But I don't know if it can be used also with things or, or with another context. What was the sentence, Gabby? Uh, put back. And the platform said to, that means to cover your body with clothes. No, I don't. Um, what part of, do you remember the of, the, of the platform, Gabby? Um, I think it was the second video uh, in the first lesson. Here, the video 1.3. Yep, I think it was that. Mm -hmm. Put plus off means to postpone. There. Put. I know. Because there it says put back is to. Oh, I, I was confused. Okay, mm -hmm. put on is the clothes. Okay, I was confused. Sorry. Oh, no, no problem. That's why that's why we work together to make sure it's clear. Exactly. Okay. Okay, okay. thanks. You're welcome, Gabby. All right. So now that we're clear about the different words and how we use them, uh, we can now go on to our next topic. Our next topic is about making requests. This is important because in our job or with other people, we normally have to ask for something. For example, you have to ask to borrow their pen or maybe to help them, a customer or different thing. Hi. So we're going to look at the difference between the models that we use and would you mind? Would you mind is the very formal way to say it. And then we have models that are a little bit less formal that we use normally. Learn and write down the three different ones that we learn besides would you mind, okay? So listen and write down, what are the three ways that we can make with the models? What are the other models? We're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Requests with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind, plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? Okay, so we can see we have three, we have many different ways. We have three with modals, and then we have would you mind. For you, what do you see is the difference? What's the difference in structure? And the, and the model and simple form of verb, the, um, use the um, 
a verb in infinitive form. And the would you mind is to use the gerund, gerund. Okay, very good, Javier, that's it. Would you mind always we use gerund? Remember, gerund is ing. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna say, would you mind? And then the whatever action or whatever activity is going to be with ing. But with the modal can or would, the verb is base form, okay? Which of those do you think is informal? Can, could, or would? Can. 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 It's informal. Correct. Can is informal. Exactly. Can is informal. And which one is more formal? Yes, it's actually wood. Wood is more formal. So informal, wood is the most formal. Informal is like in the middle. It is so so. Mm -hmm. so the mind is more. Teacher, no, I don't, I don't listen. It's a noise in the audio. Okay. So as I said, can is the informal. Would is more formal. We're going to watch the video and have a better understanding of how to use these different modes. Garbage here. When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could. And we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on a discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have fun. Okay, so what is she trying to explain with all of the grammar and the technical? What the explanation is that always can is less formal, could is more formal, and would is very formal we are going to always use the verb in base form for these three. But if we use would with mind, always we're going to use the verb with ing. Okay. So right now with our partners, we are going to go to the discussion board and we are going to make one sentence or one request with can, one request with could, one request with would, and one request with would you mind. So that means we're going to have four sentences, four sentences, where here in the, we're going to have, hang on, right there, sorry. Right here on the bottom of 1.8, on the bottom of 1.8, we put here, ah, add a post, right? We click on add a post, okay? And then we put what it is, we put the four, so, here, as an example, I put request, okay? And I need to make, with my partner, we're going to make four. One with can, okay? One with could, one with would, and one with would you mind. Same ones that are here in the video. Hi. Could, would, and would you mind. Any questions what we're going to do in this moment?
No? No question. Okay, perfect. So remember, four, four requests. Write in the request there. In the last photo in WhatsApp group. Okay. Okay. Okay, but we were we using using the um, another other uh, sentences, no? Yeah. For example, can you pick the book out? Can you pick the book out? Me. Can can be a, a sentences. I could show, you show. could you open uh, the bottle? Um, what's the, what's the, would you yeah. would you borrow me a pen? Would you mind closing the door, please? Hi, we're about to make requests using modal verbs. Notice when to use the simple form of a verb and when to use a gerund. Stay around for more explanation. Request with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind plus gerund? Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could. And we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind plus not 
plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual Okay. Hmm. I don't see any. Did you guys have any difficulties making the request? Can? Cool. Yeah. Would? Yes, Gabby? Uh, I didn't find a way to, to make the discussion, but I was writing it down when when the time was over <laughs> oh, okay all right but i'm writing it okay okay go ahead Pin, write it in there to make sure that you have it did anybody have any difficulty and you say or confusion how to make a request yes um i told my partner that it's difficult to me because um, I didn't use the, the phrasal verbs. Um, okay. the, uh, I, I, I understand the, the lesson, but it's difficult to, to me uh, make a sentences. No. I, okay. Let, let me help you. Let's, let's try to together. Ask Javier something. Ask Javier, something. We make a request to Javier. Uh, okay. Um, request in in, mm -hmm. in a form. Yes. Go ahead. You make the question. Okay. okay. Javier, can you um, borrow me? Can you lend me? No. Can you borrow me? Can you lend me? Can you lend me, Maria? Can you lend me the book, please? That's it. That's the request. Okay. And that's all. Now, we can change the same request for more formal. Javier, could you lend me the book, please? We can change it for more formal. Javier, would you lend me the book, please? Or we can have very formal. Javier, would you mind lending me the book, please. Okay. But the four is correct. Only the difference is the level of how formal or informal you are. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, Maria. For everybody else, was it okay? Or anybody else have any questions? These questions don't have to be with uh, phrasal verbs. It could be any verb. Exactly. It's not necessary to be with phrasal verbs. You can have them with any verb that you like because they are only making requests. Okay. Okay. Let's show you here. All right. Let's take a look at some of the answers that you put. So, Let's see what answers we have here. Oh, I only have one answer. Okay. What happened with my other students? I only have one answer from Armando. And my other students, no answers. Hmm. Let's take a look and see Armando's at least. So Armando, <laughs> can you give me the computer? It's correct, right? Because we use the verb in base form. Number two, could you take a book for me, please? Correct. Could you take a book for me, please? We use also the verb in present, please, at the end. Number three, would you bring me a glass of water? Okay, that's good. Here, number four, only the spelling. The spelling is not correct because here we need with D. Would you mind taking the order? So mind is with D, like here. Would you mind? Yeah. But the others are correct. But I am looking for my other students' work and I don't see my other students' work. 
I saved a comment, but I don't think if I, I did it correctly because you can see it. Maybe I made a new discussion or something. It's okay. There's a new discussion here. I can see it. Can okay. You, can you turn down air conditioner? Is that yours? Yes. 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 Oh, yes. yes. Okay. You see here. We, yes. Mm -hmm. Is or okay. is or team. Okay. So can you? Teacher, turn, I have a question. Yes, Rosa. Or yes, Evelyn. A good mind and good is the same uh, level. No, would is formal and would you mind is very formal. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's see here. For example, in yes, this one, is the dreams. In this one, is missing. Would you mind? Yes. Mm -hmm. But we have correct. Yes. Can you turn yes. down? Here we need to mm -hmm. turn down the air conditioner. The air, the air conditioner. conditioner. Okay. Mm -hmm. The air conditioner. Okay. Good. Could you pick up your shoes? Correct. Would you please put your meeting off? Good. And here, mm -hmm. could you put on your t-shirt? This is correct, but we need the other. Would other, yes, the ghoul mine. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So good job. But remember for the other classmates to put, put it in the discussion box so we can check the spelling, the writing. Now we're going to continue. Here, let's see if we understand how to make it. Everybody, you are going to go 1.9 with your partner and you're going to answer the questions. These are all the requests. And with your partner, you're going to make a decision which ones are correct. So with our partners, 1.9, we read and only select, okay? We don't need okay. any time, only read and choose the answer. Could you lend me $20? We're sorry, we'll talk more quietly. I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, no problem, I'll be glad to. If you are watching this video at home, remember to practice the pronunciation because you are not in class. Listen to my pronunciation and practice one more time. Could you lend me $20? We're sorry, we'll talk more quietly. I'm sorry, I'll do it right away. Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, no problem, I'd be glad to. Now practice the questions. Can you get me a sandwich? Can you help me move to a new house? Would you mind not sitting here? Could you move your car from my space? Would you mind not talking so loudly? Okay. So if you are watching it at home, remember to practice your pronunciation, speak out loud, don't be scared, and then select the correct answer for 1.9. I will give you a moment and then we will check together. So try 1.9 and then we will check together to make sure it's clear.
Okay. Welcome back, everybody. Let's see how we did. Okay. Armando, start with number one. Read the question and pick your answer. Could you lend me $20? Are you kidding me? I don't have any cash. Okay, thank you, Armando. All right, let's see. Maria, number two. Okay, can you get me a sandwich? Oh, I'm really sorry, but I'm, I'm busy. Okay, good. Mirna, number three. Can you help me move to my new house? Brenda, can you help Mirna? Uh, I'm really sorry, but I'm busy. Sure, no problem. It'd be glad to. Mm, we have two different answers. Mm, Javier, <laughs> don't be the correct one. Make a selection. Mm -hmm. Javier, you are mute. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sure, no problem. Sure. I'd be glad to. Okay. All right, let's see. We'll see. Anna, number four. Would you mind not sitting here? Uh, the answer is... Uh, well... It's okay. uh, sorry, I don't re realize the seat was taken. Good. Remember, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Good. Rosa, number five. Could you move your car from my space? I'm sorry. I'll do it right away. Okay. Evelyn, number six. Evelyn, you are on mute. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, would you mind not talking so loudly? We're sorry. We talk more quickly. Quietly. Quietly, okay. Okay. Quietly. Okay, good. Let's see our answers. Hey, very good. Hey. <laughs> All of the answers are correct. Okay, so you can see we chose, we selected all of the right answers. Are there any questions, any part that is not clear on how to make requests? Mm, no? Okay, now we're going to go to 1.11. This is going to be Reading, we're gonna practice our reading, okay? Here we have neighbor versus neighbor. Let's take a look. I will put it in, for those that have difficulty, I will take the picture and put into the WhatsApp group so that you can see also, sometimes it's easier on the phone because you can zoom. Let me see. Okay. Who would like to begin reading? Me, teacher. Me, Me teacher. Okay. <coughs> so let's let's begin the first part from neighbor to driveway. Mirna, and then the next part, the next part from half to me. Me. 
Uh -huh. Okay, Rosa, from have to me. And then the next part, from these to deliberately. Me. Okay, Javier. And the next part, from believe to first. Me. Me. Ana, okay. And the next part, from when to it. Me. me. Okay, Gabby. <laughs> and the last part, oh no, we have two parts. From if. Me. To, okay. <laughs> okay, Evelyn, from if to situations. And the last part. Me. Me, Ivania. Okay, okay, Ivania, no problem. All right, let's take a look. Let's begin. See the situation in the list below. What will you do in it situation? The woman in the apartment upstairs play her piano after midnight. The family across the street never cleans up their yard. The garbage flow in, into your yard. The guy next door always parks his car in front of your driveway. Good, very good. Mm -hmm. Have things like this ever happening to you? If so, if so, you may ask yours, yourself, who are the who are these people? Why are they doing? this thing to me this day this, many people uh, okay no oh, sorry this day many people don't know their neighbors sometimes we share a friendly wave or say hello but a lot of pe but a lot of people don't even know their neighbors names we just don't know someone it's easy to build up frustration and resentment you think maybe they like to annoy me or maybe they do it deliberately. Okay, good. Only the pronunciation is resentment. 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 Okay, good. Okay. Me teacher. Okay. <clears throat> Believe it, it or not, your neighbors probably don't mean to irritate you. Often they don't even know that they are getting on your nerves. So before you take a strength, make sure to fix the problem. You should discuss, discuss it with them first. When you approach your neighbors, you should talk to them in a friendly manner compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Then explain the situation and if you can think of a simple solution, suggest it. Me. Mm -hmm. If talking doesn't if talking doesn't work as another person to help. This person can listen to both sides of the story and help you and your neighbor resolve the situation. Finally, sometimes it's a good idea to avoid the problem. Depending on the issue, it may be best to just stay a style of your neighbor safe. Wait. The neighbor wait. Okay. Good, very good. Are there any words you don't know? Approach and manner. Approach. Approach is how you have contact with the other person. You need to approach or have the contact with the other person. Um, we could say this like a uh, acercamiento. Correct. Uh, okay, thanks. Yep. Uh, and manner, manner, M-A-N-N-E-R. Is the attitude that you have in the, the way that you act. This is your manner. Um, okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Issue? Issues are problems. Depending on the issue? Depending on the problem. Okay. Thank you. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Only those words? Blow. Blow is like a, the, the wind. The wind blows. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's like a sea. It's like? Like a sea. Mm, what? Like, like for the wind, when it's like a hurricane. In the hurricane, the wind blows. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, we are doing really good with that idea for the reading. What do we have for homework today? Today, we have the 1.11. Now that we have the reading, we are going to complete the exercise 1.11. That means from the reading 1.11, we need to complete these questions. What is the meaning of those words? Okay, the idea is use the context to give you the meaning and try to guess the idea from the context. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, yes. thank, you. thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. I'm happy that you came. I know it's difficult, but I'm glad and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank, thank you so much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Night.